on her way to urgent care right now. Definitely, she definitely said it, it was a concussion. Is your head spinning too? Today, Lena hit her head, the back of her head, pretty darn hard, um, and she was crying hysterically for a very long time. And you know that once a child or anybody has a head injury, it's not good to have them sleep for at least 30 minutes. Well, right away, she was just like, after she finally calmed down of crying, all she wanted to do was sleep. So I tried to keep her awake as long as I could for about 30 minutes at least. She fell asleep. An hour later, she woke up and she threw up twice. And I didn't think anything of it, really. But the more time has passed, and I'm thinking about it, and you know, Google's kind of the worst enemy here. Um, I called my mom, you know how Hispanic parents are, and all of that. They're She's saying, the doctor. <laughs> you gotta take them to ice urgent cream? care. And she I looked it up on. Fancy with ice cream. And I looked the situation up on google and it did say that you should take them to urgent care and just be sure i called their urgent care and they definitely said that they want to double check so that is currently where we are right now on our way to urgent care and we are arriving now so we'll see you in a second oh, look at mine. Oh. you want me to sit there oh, oh yeah can you find the letter a where's the letter b Where's the letter C? Where's the letter D? Wait, Lena, Lena. Kangaroo and a zebra. Just leave it there, okay? Don't It's about a foot and a half off the like floor. Probably like a chair. Yeah, a foot and a half off the floor. Okay, yeah, good. It's hardwood or carpet? Hardwood. 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 Okay, all right, that's fine. And then she didn't pass out. She didn't pass out, but she was um, nodding on and off. I think it was just she just wanted to okay. sleep. Okay. So she was just like. That's after yeah. she's calmed down. Okay. okay. After the screaming. Okay. And what time did this happen? The fall, I believe, I was really looking at the clock, but the fall, I believe, happened around 2.33 okay. in the afternoon. Okay. Um, Perfect. Yeah. Because it's been good. So the first four hours are actually pretty critical. Okay. So if someone is fine in the first four hours, we're out of breath. Okay. Danger zone. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So head injuries have, the good thing is we have a lot of data on head injuries very strict guidelines on where to CAT scan them. X-rays have no input in it. In okay. Either it's nothing or it's a CAT scan. So that's why we're so careful because CAT scan is 100 times X-ray radiation. Oh. So we don't want to put these kids through CAT scan if they don't need to. And if it's exactly. necessary. Exactly. So that's why the guidelines are so strict. Okay. So these questions I'm asking is the height matters. Um, the passing out matters, um, 
vomiting is a plus factor, but vomiting, I've seen a lot of kids with head injuries and vomited a few hours later, and that's just concussion and just the pain. So vomiting, it's plus and minus. If, if there's another check box that I can check, okay. then we usually say, yeah, go get a cat scan. But that's very rare, actually. Okay. Very, very rare. Okay. So it's good, good that you guys came in here. Okay. All right, sweetie, let's sit up. To be honest, this wasn't on this side. To be honest, I'm just gonna tell you, I wasn't really there to see it. It could have been that side. I saw her hold this side. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think it would, but it could have been that side. <laughs> Like when I was feeling her head, I didn't feel anything. No, I don't either. Okay. This is just also a bit, just not a hematoma, like like the bruise, you know, like yeah. a eggshell like that. Yes, yes, she, she, doesn't, doesn't she definitely doesn't have a bump. So that's a big plus. Like okay. if she had that, that is a positive okay. check box. And okay. you know, not on her forehead, but on her scalp. Okay. If she would have had it. Then okay. we get a little worried with the vomiting. We just want to correct. Sometimes make sure like what's under it. Yes. You know? Okay, good. All right. So that means there's no swelling or there's anything. There's no swelling. Okay. Over here. <laughs> and, um, and she's fine. Okay. The only thing is just the odd part that we saw. Mm -hmm. She drinks a lot of liquids. She didn't want to drink. And she didn't want to drink anything. Mm -hmm. And she loves to drink. And the vomiting was definitely weird. But head wise, she's fine. Okay. She right. doesn't need an ex. There's no kind of ex. She doesn't need a cat scan. Right. right. So if she's had a little bit of a concussion from injury, yeah. Yeah. then the treatment is actually meant to rest. So sleeping is very good. Okay. But this is probably not the best. Okay. So anything that stimulates her should be avoided until tomorrow. I just okay. gave it to her just now to calm yeah. her down. Yeah. So tonight, sleep. Should we um, have her sleep with us just to? Keep an eye on her or yeah. it be okay? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I would do that. Okay. I would do that. Okay. Um, watch her closely for the next 24 hours. Okay. And uh, lots of rest. Give her the Tylenol before Tylenol. she goes to bed. Okay. Just in case if something hurts her. Okay. And just yeah. keep an eye on her. You don't have to push uh, food in her. Yeah. It's not as important if she doesn't want to eat. But fluids is important. Drinking is important. Yeah, but that's the, that's the thing, because usually that's rare. she'll, I mean, yeah. she'll chug like an eight ounce glass of juice yeah. in yeah. seconds. Yeah, yeah. 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 she Since the fall. Nothing. Like Nothing. Um, does she... Just probably to about maybe 30 minutes ago, uh -huh. she started to have a popsicle, but didn't finish it, which is okay. very rare. Yeah. But now she's asking for ice cream because she saw Dairy Queen okay. next door. Okay, <laughs> so maybe she's nauseous. And that's oh, so they, they yeah. relate nausea with oh, not eating. Okay. Um, they can really express that like, you and I. Got it. Yes. So, but I, I don't want to give her nausea medicine. I want to watch what she does. Okay. But I can still give her Tylenol even if she might be nauseous. Yes. Okay. Um, where is this planning on going next month? Oh. He probably was. <laughs> oh, yeah, but if we can, we can. Okay, I mean, if you were, I would advise, if you don't mind, why don't you get something and let's see if she eats it. Okay. That will give me a little bit of a reassurance that, okay, she's not conscious and she's not hungry. Got it. Because if she is I mean, we'll go next door. It's not a problem. If you're forcing me to eat ice cream, you know, I have to take one for the team. <laughs> Layla, you get, we have to eat ice cream, okay? You have to. <laughs> if you don't want to. For, for Lena, we have to have ice cream. I think I should have some kind of contract with yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really, I'm right next door. So. I, I only have popsicles here. Okay, yeah, so we'll, I can give her popsicles. We'll go next door. Okay, and then I'm see. I'm forced. Yeah. <laughs> and see how she does. Perfect. Okay. If she vomits. Yes, I can give her the nausea medicine there, but I just want to see what she does. Okay. Uh, because if I don't have to give her, I would rather not. I Correct. I want to see what her body is actually doing. Perfect. Okay. 
So let's just say in the middle of the night she vomits or whatever, I just cough. Or tomorrow morning you call to the medication or the pediatrician or whatever. Yes. Okay. Wanna go eat ice cream? <gasps> ice cream? Ice cream? Yeah. Ice cream. Let's go. So what happened? Where are we now? So we just stepped on the hospital. We I left the urgent care center. And then we're at Ice Cream Dairy Queen. Dairy Queen. Dairy Queen. And right next door. Right next door. So we, the and doctor and said we have to eat a lot of ice cream. We have to, wait, the doctor said what? We have to have ice cream. <laughs> no. Lena, do you feel good? Good. That's Lena's. Thank God nothing serious, nothing bad really happened. We're right next door just to see if she can intake something and she is not nauseous so that she can finish that and not throw up would be the sign, would be the good sign for her. Um, if she does throw up, then we might need to give her some nausea medicine. So that's what we're trying right now. We're next door getting some ice cream, see if she might still feel nauseous or not. So overall, um, I mean, I, I didn't go sooner because I didn't think anything of it, but I'm glad that we actually came because it could have been... I, just, I mean, I've had concussions before. Yeah, and she definitely she definitely said it, it was a concussion. That's Lana's. No, she, said, she definitely said it's some type of concussion, but it's nothing serious. She doesn't have any soft spots on her scalp, which is great. Oh, this is your first blizzard, Layla? <laughs> <laughs> That's how you know it's a good one. They do this. The blizzards, they put them upside down. Look. No, but don't leave them like that. They're there only meant for a little bit. Mmm, <laughs> Lena, is it good? Hey. Well, she is eating, so that's good. Hopefully, you don't throw it up. <laughs> All right, guys, we are back home. Just grabbed the camera again. And we, she is 7.5 milliliters. We're giving her some Tylenol right now. Don't mind her hair. Um, we're trying to not, you know, put the scrunchie too tight so it doesn't give her more of a headache. But we're giving her Tylenol right now before bed for any headache or uh, nausea or uh, discomfort okay. that she might feel. Okay. Come on, Lena. You got to take a look at this hair, Lena. Ready? Look at this hair. One, two, three. Open. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Uh, Yay, Lena! Drink that medicine, girl! <laughs> she's like, that's it. Go, ready? Go. Look at her. <laughs> we brushed her hair today. It's just that with the fall, we the pediatrician gave her a head massage to make sure that you know she didn't feel any bump. And we're trying to have her not have her scrunchie too tight. Um. But yeah, we're thankful that it was nothing serious. We're thankful that it was just a slight concussion. Um, not, maybe not even a concussion. She said it could. She said it, it was like a. It could have been, but it is. Uh, she said it could have been, but not. It wasn't really. A concussion per se. Vomited a few hours later, and that's just concussion and just. Well, she said everything she had to deal with timing, Correct. so. It was the fall was around 2 30 and the vomiting was around 3 and by the time we took her was around 7 so she said there's been enough time passed that nothing serious you know no red flags for x-ray or a cat scan which is great all positive news right we got to watch her for 24 hours just to make sure she doesn't keep throwing up she doesn't have a headache or nausea if she does, then we gotta go back and call and make sure that everything's okay. And if she doesn't, then she's fine. They told her. <laughs> they told us to make sure that she's not really yeah, using. Don't, don't forget to subscribe. Hi guys. They told her to make sure she doesn't really use her brain, <laughs> which is funny. But yeah. So yeah, we're going to go good night. Lena, are you are you feeling better now? Are you feeling better? The fall was definitely scary. The vomiting was definitely scary, but we're thankful that it's nothing serious. And we're just gonna watch her for 24 hours, and that's pretty much it. Yeah. So yeah. And Layla said she was gonna pray for her sister to make sure she's better. Oh, you're gonna pray for your sister? Okay. Aww. Go. 
my bag. And she did have ice cream, which is good because she hasn't been wanting to eat all day. So at least she has something in her system. Not much at all, but you know, it's it's the step forward that we were looking for. All right, so with that being said, we're gonna go to sleep, keep an eye on her, make sure everything's okay, right, Lena? You're ready to go good night? All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to and click the bell button so you can be notified every single time you post a new video. We post three times a week. Yes, girl. Ya tu sabes. Ya tu sabes. Ya tu sabes. Ya tu sabes. <laughs> Join the Burgos fam and click that bell button. Comment, share, subscribe. Do all that good stuff and we'll see you on the next vlog. Bye! Bye. Give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel.